Advances in structural biology have allowed researchers to further understand the structure and mechanism of rotavirus. This potentially life-threatening pathogen causes severe gastroenteritis in millions of people, particularly young children. Rotavirus is an icosahedral particle composed of three concentric layers surrounding the double-stranded RNA. The core layer, VP2, provides a scaffold for the virus. VP6 forms a honeycomb structure that stabilizes the fragile core. And VP7 forms a continuous perforated outer shell. Finally, the trimeric VP4 spike protein is a key mediator of viral attachment and entry. VP4 is proteolytically cleaved by trypsin-like proteases into two fragments, VP8 and VP5, which remain non-covalently associated. Within VP4, interactions occur between the hydrophobic loops of the VP5 beta barrel and the VP8 lectin domain, as well as the VP5C terminal domain with the VP8 N-terminal helix. Molecular interactions between VP5 and the VP7 loops dictate the orientation of spike projection and spike asymmetry. During membrane penetration, VP4 undergoes substantial conformational change from an upright to a reversed conformation. There is dissociation of the VP8 lectin domains from VP5, followed by rearrangement and fold back of the VP5 beta barrels which thrusts the foot domain outwards. This forms a highly stable trimer consisting of three beta barrels surrounding a central triple helical coiled coil. Consequently, three hydrophobic loops in VP5 are exposed, which along with the foot are thought to interact with the membrane and destabilize it. VP5 and VP8 collectively have nine structurally defined neutralizing epitopes, however the much greater conservation in VP5 suggests stronger functional constraints, making it a promising antigen for rotavirus vaccines. Nonetheless, the key roles of VP4 in infectivity make it a major target of neutralizing antibodies of the host immune system. An example is the antigen-binding fragment, FAB41, which locks the spike in its upright conformation inhibiting penetration. A footprint of the antibody contacts has been mapped onto VP4 to show its critical binding regions. The FAB41 heavy chain complementarity determining region 3 inserts into the cleft and binds the VP5 beta barrel and one VP8 domain, making both polar and nonpolar contacts. The heavy chain CDR1 also contacts VP5, clamping the loop through hydrogen bonds between 3 and 29 and VP5 tryptophan 393, as well as asparagine 32, and the carbonyl of proline 389. Finally the FAB41 light chain binds almost exclusively with the other VP8 domain. These structural studies of precise antibody-antigen interactions at high resolutions have allowed researchers to identify key regions involved in rotavirus infectivity. This has opened new avenues for identification of inhibitors or design of virus-like particles and subunit vaccines that can elicit a robust immune response against rotavirus.